y'all followed after the collab with the turtle guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad you're here. Hi, Gluduck. So literally, I was just talking to him this morning because he he doesn't want... Okay, so this is like a design thing. I don't know how interested people are in this design decision. I desperately want to use a phone because it is a robust, well-tested bundle of sensors that is independently debuggable and easy to interface with everything else. He does not want to use a phone because of lag. And I understand the, the hesitation, but I just worry about having like six sensors on there independently, all capable of failure and we would have to independently debug which one is failing and that's kind of hard to do. Whereas a phone, you know that the IMU is going to be solid, you know it's going to be good, you know that, you know, the audio is already pre-filtered, right? If we're going to be using this in busy spots, he really does hate latency, but does he hate latency more than he hates unfiltered mics? Because I am not writing a filter for that. I've, I've never done audio filtering. I've done plenty of sensor, sensor data processing. I have never processed audio data and I am not about to learn how to make something that would work in in a in a conference center, you know? Metal and filters have a complicated history. Filtered. Filtered. Yeah. So anyway, that's that's where we're at in terms of design. Because I can't finalize everything until one of us wins this argument. <laughs> because I either need a phone, which is super easy, or I need to build in... Oh god, I'm trying to think. Probably just an Excel is sufficient. Dainu, I probably don't need a whole IMU, but please god, please. And then I would need like a, a decent mic. I, honestly, I think maybe we could just send it through like a, like a good webcam, if I just buy like a good webcam. What lag would a phone bring? Okay, so the plan with the phone was to send it through Discord to the main computer. So basically this thing is running on four computers, right? So we have, we have one computer that's like just a tiny little microcontroller that's just for motor drivers, right? And then we have a Pi, which is going to be the main brain on the robot, you know? And that is going to be in communication. Uh, that's going to be like running the main the main ROS server. You got the dog Pi too! Yeah, yeah. Uh, it doesn't really matter whether it's a Pi 5. I was, I was going to use a Pi 5 just to be safe, but honestly, most of the computation, most of the hardest computation, right? The the Pi is mostly for like the, the inverse kinematics, the walk cycle, hosting the state machine, and then uh, most, most of the actual like logic, the entire AI is going to be running on a host computer that's going to be in the same room but not on the dog. It doesn't need to be amazing, but I was going to use a Pi 5 just because, like, I have one. Why not? Mobile app to interface with the sensors and send over Bluetooth to something, uh, to the computer. Okay, so, so we could theoretically do this. Although, although, I probably wouldn't write my own mobile app for it. My, my concern with that is that, um... Bluetooth is finicky, and it's very distant, distance dependent, and if we had to walk the dog around the con away from the uh, host computer, I worry that Bluetooth wouldn't be as reliable. Yeah, Bluetooth is messy, and, and BLE is even worse for this anyway, so walking the dog, LMAO, yeah, yeah, walking the dog. Without Discord in the middle would be better, but I still think that we could do that with the phone. I really don't want to have to implement my own audio filtering, which is the thing that Bluetooth gives us for free. Not Bluetooth, oh my god, that, that Discord gives gives us for free. Oh, Seed Studio Respeaker Array Mic? Yeah, well, okay, so here's the thing. I would probably just use like a good webcam with integrated audio if um if I couldn't use a phone, but then I still have to have like separate allowances for whatever we're using for the IMU and it needs its own separate filtering and doesn't Vettel already use Discord to have Neuro talk to everyone? I know, I know, I know, he won't listen to me. I know I'm right about this, but I also, he, he lives in this weird zone for me. Thank you, Aaliyah. Thank you! Thank you! I know! I know! I'm a robotics engineer! I know! Thank you! Thank you for your 20 years of professional coding experience putting behind me. But, but like, I have so little confidence in this because he lives in this, in this weird, like, in interzone between, like, coworker and streaming person. And usually when I'm talking to people, like, as me, as the, as, as the streamer, right? I'm like excited and straightforward and I know what I know and I'm not weird about it or nervous about it. But when I talk to coworkers, I'm very anxious and he's like in a weird in-between zone. So I like, I get too goofy and then I get anxious. Um, I'll be telling him like, Hey, I really think I'm right about this phone thing. I don't think that we're going to have a better time using independent sensors. I know that there has to be a way to get this work. If you're worried about the, the latency with Bluetooth, I am not. He's very dry and speech. I know, I know Server was saying that. I was like, I'm a little bit afraid because he's so, I, I feel like I can't tell when he's okay with something. And she was like, oh, you just gotta put like a British filter over it. You just gotta like account for the Britishness because Americans are a lot more effusive. Brits, the, the difference between them liking something and not liking something, that is within the, the realm of just like error, right? That's just within the realm of sensor error. You can't pick that up. You can't pick that up. But Americans, when they hate something, they're just like, mm, mm, 
mm, right? They're like very, it's very easy to tell. And when they like something, when they like something, we're just like, oh my God, that is the best idea ever. You're so smart, right? So like Brits don't show you how they think about your ideas. So it's impossible to tell what he approves of. Account for the Britishness. So yeah, Germans will just tell you, which I appreciate. We actually work with Germans. There's a, there's a Germany office of my company and I love working with them because I never have to put in any, any legwork in figuring it out. They're just like, that's stupid. And I'm like, thank you. Great. Let's move on. Or they're like, good idea. We'll do that. And, and you never, you never have to guess. But the British, it's so confusing. It's so close to their chests. You can, and you can't tell them like, tell me what you really think though. Like, so anyway, I have been struggling with that. I do think the phone is a better idea. I think the phone is strictly a better idea. And I like the idea of using Discord's echo cancellation and filtering because they're very, very good. But he's afraid of latency. Now, to be fair, the latency matters most because he wants to do the navigation with his own AI, which, listen, as someone who's done a lot of robotics navigation, as someone who has primarily worked in pathing and slam, no. No. No, this is a huge, heavy dog robot. You can't just have this walking through a, cr a crowd of people based on an AI looking through a camera. No, if we want this thing navigating autonomously, here's my pitch. Either we add like a joystick to a leash so that as you lead this thing on a leash, you're basically controlling it with the joystick and that's how you lead it through crowds and it only navigates autonomously when it is not around other people or we have to put LiDAR on top of it and then that's gonna be a whole new thing in terms of development. Yeah. So anyway, can you make the argument to start with the phone and upgrade if needed later? Well, I don't know. It would be kind of hard to like rebuild, you know, because because I would have to build it into the circuitry. I would have to build it into the driver level, right? Like there's there's going to be a lot that I need to do if um if we, if we change it to other sensors, although he wouldn't necessarily know that. So I could just lie to him. I think once he sees how it works with the phone, he's going to be good. Instead of LiDAR, use weapons grade lasers. Yes. Oh my God. Perfect. Perfect. Where were you when I was trying to pitch this idea? What's a few bruised feet? <laughs> yeah. How could we possibly get in trouble for bringing like a military grade robot with with bad pathing to, to a conference full of people? It's going to be fine. I'm sure. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Give it like pillows on every side of it. Just make, oh my God, wait, imagine the sound of it walking and it's just like, because it's got the pillows all over it. Put Nerf guns on it. I wish, I wish. Ellie needs one of those predator alien laser targeting systems with the three dots. I mean, that wouldn't be too hard to set up. Although I wouldn't want to put one of those autonomously because then it could shine into somebody's eyes, which no good. Repurpose, purpose some old Xbox Kinect units. Okay, so here's the thing about that gum. So for a long time, the fashionable thing to do, <laughs> put an air horn on it. For a long time, the fashionable thing to do um, in, in robotics was if you needed a vision system, you would just use a Kinect. But there are a lot of stereo cameras now that are like better and have better APIs. I probably wouldn't use a Kinect this time around, but it was fashionable for a long time and it was a very convenient bundle of sensors. And uh, I thank them for their contribution in that respect. But I probably wouldn't use a Kinect for this. First of all, it's heavy. Second of all, it has a lot of things we don't need. And third of all, it's just like not the most efficient way to have a stereo camera at this point in time. Although we still do use the, um, the Kinect uh, skeleton libraries, even with the modern stereo cameras. So it's is this interesting to anyone? Is this interesting to anyone? Just consult Camilla about bullying the t Oh, do you think that would work? Okay, cool. People are into this. I, I never know how much technical talk is interesting to people. But actually, do you think that Camilla could help me bully him? Listen, I, if he says like, no, I don't want that. I'm just going to be like, okay, sir. And I'm going to build it how he wants it. And it's going to be worse. And it's going to be worse. And it's going to take longer. Don't don't bully him directly. But if I could find someone who could help me have a backbone, be, be a vertebrate for once, uh, that would be pretty cool. Because cause I know I'm right about this. I know I'm right about this. But also. <laughs> she was another reason to believe metal. Oh my god. Thank you, OG. I'm I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> Just tell Camilla it has to be the phone and let her back me up. Would she? I've I've never Okay, I'm Obviously, I've never met Camilla. I just, I just like watch, I just watch streams. Camilla's on vacation. Perfect. Never mind then. Here's, here's what we got to do then. Here's what we got to do. We just let it be. We just let it ride. Just ask Camilla and Eddie for help. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. So, so I'm really excited to start building this thing, but I can't start building this thing until we agree on how it's going to navigate and how many sensors it's going to need. And first of all, I think if he wants it to be navigating autonomously through crowds, it needs LiDAR or he needs to be okay with having it have a manual joystick on a leash, which I think is cute. Cute, honestly. I don't understand what's the problem with that. I think it's cute. So it is metal making me slave over this passion project and being really mean about it. No, but he's being really nice. He hasn't been mean once. I wouldn't I wouldn't say he's being mean. I, I couldn't do that to him. 
<laughs> He's been really nice. I just know I'm right, but I'm incapable of arguing for my points in a professional setting because I'm scared and uh, I'm, I'm used to being the least experienced robotics engineer in the room, but he's not a robotics engineer. So you can ask Thor during a stream. <gasps> yeah, maybe, maybe he would agree with me. Maybe he would agree with me. Or in Katsu, that's what I keep sending him. I keep sending him these long messages with like, so I keep sending him like, here are the pros and here are the cons. I really think that the pros outweigh the cons. And then he'll just be like, but latency though. And I'm like, well, but, but yeah, he's really nice in VMs. Well, I mean, okay. He's very business-like because I'm very business-like. He used to be a lot nicer. He, he was very supportive initially. And then I was like, I'm being super normal. You can be normal too. I'm, I'm really normal. I don't need all that. And then he has been more normal. And now I'm anxious. So it turns out I did need special <laughs> accommodations. I know, but latency though being the ultimate hurdle. Listen, I don't think there is that much latency over Discord. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Just threaten to suplex him. He he could break me in half, dude. I'm like a I'm I'm like a pop tart. I have the structural integrity of a pop tart. Ellie hurt herself in her confusion. <laughs> Phone latency or no robot? Oh, yeah, or no robot. What's worse? Well, but I wouldn't threaten him like that. I do want to make this robot. Listen, I already bought all the actuators, so... And, and chat paid for it, so if nothing else, I owe chat this robot. But, but, I keep saying but. Use my dead bones. <laughs> He'll never see them coming. He'll never see these dead bones coming. Yo, you have a friend who's friends with Thor? Hey, yo, actually, actually, you got bodied by a little Filipino boy. I know, I know, I know. An incredible clip, an incredible moment in time. Are you gonna stream the process of building the robot? Yes. It's not the whole process, and I don't exactly know how because I don't have, like, a good camera, and my room looks like the small apartment of um, a woman who lives on her own. <laughs> but if you guys can live with that, if you guys can live with that, and if you guys can uh, live with um, some M Macaulay Culkin-looking lady building a robot on stream, then, yeah. I am anxious about showing myself. Obviously, I'll wear a mask, but I am, I am nervous. A girl making a robot is very attra attractive. Well, we'll see how you feel about that once you see me. I look like Justin Bieber when he was a child. At worst, just making a rapid fire PowerPoint. I could do that. I could, I could make so many PowerPoints about this. I made so many pros and cons lists. I don't think I'm going to convince him, which means I will end up building it worse. Oh, it has echo cancellation built in. Yo, that would be kind of useful. And noise reduction. That's something. We could maybe make that work then. I'm- I'll tell him. I'll tell him. Robot dog, robot cat instead? I don't understand. I don't understand. Robot- Oh yeah, robot cat instead. I guess- I guess it could be a robot. I mean, it's just a quadruped. So it could be like a donkey. I don't know, man. I don't make the rules. Whatever you want it to be. Whatever you want it to be. It's gonna be a robot anyway.